Hey guys, it's the Mad Master here. I'm doing another video, and I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, by the way, because this software, which I will not mention the name, is absolutely blazingly fast, and I am very surprised by it. It does not glitch out like some of my other ones. So you will see something unprecedented because of this software, which I will not mention the name of, but I'll just say... Um, it had, I'll just give it like that. I'm surprised. I'm just surprised. I'm sold on this. I'm going to be buying an official version when, once I'm done with the trial. Um, I'll just put, uh, Nocturnal Critters, Nocturnal, Nocturnal Critters Hell. How about that? You can figure it out. But it's the best I've used. Wow. Because I had something else and it wasn't working as well, but I, I just zipped the last video together in a, in a minute. My prayers were answered. Neville Goddard. <laughs> the law of attraction. The best, the best software I've ever used. Oh my God. No, it is really good. I mean, it's not the best quality, but you know, whatever. It'll do for now. Um, so this one is about statues and the controversy surrounding that. And I have a very... I don't know if it's controversial, but I'm very much at the end where they're starting to, they're starting to kind of, you know, the, the uh, protests, the uh, George Floyd protests, they're starting to kind of, they're kind of spiral out of control and they're trying, starting to go after things that are just, it's like, if you're not going to have a full on revolution, what's the point of knocking down statues of Abraham Lincoln or George Washington or you know, this Union guy in Madison um, by the state capitol, a Union hero, they knock down the, it's like they're not doing enough, so we're not we're going to knock down the statue. And we're going to beat up a state senator too. Great. You're just a exemplary example of uh, why people are going to vote uh, Democrat in the fall, right? Yeah. It's just stupid. And, you know, I understand where it com you're com they're coming from with the some of these guys. I'm against, you know, I used to hate the Founding Fathers. I used to be like, I think America should just, like, go fuck itself and whatever. But now I'm just like, you know, I, I appreciate some of the Founding Fathers. Like, Thomas Paine is one of the uh, great heroes, in my opinion. Were they going to knock down a statue of him? Because he may have said, I mean, he didn't say anything. He was actually an abolitionist, too, early for the time. Um, so, I think it's stupid. Um, it's going a little too far. It's, it's one thing because, you know, Confederates are the, tra were the traitors of America. I think they should put them in museums, you know, the statues that they're knocking down the Confederates. But that's just, you know, the Founding Fathers. If we're going to call it United States of America, this don't do that. It's just, it's just stupid. It's silly, you know. If you're going to put that much energy into something why don't you be guess that have some balls and just go straight to the fucking politicians themselves you know i remember a couple of years ago uh someone went to uh i don't know if it was mitch mcconnell's house or someone's house and they were protesting uh, directly in front of them i don't remember what it was regarding but you gotta admit you know like that is a little more direct to uh or, you know, the restaurant, it was restaurant protests that was part of it, too. You know, people were in restaurants and they were kind of shaming them in the restaurant. You know, stuff like that. I mean, that's a lot better than knocking down fucking statues. Come on, what's that going to accomplish? You know, it's just, it's, it's silly. Oh, wow, a statue. Oh, my God. Right? That's really, you know, destroying property is so great. You know, that's going to really send a message to the powers that be. The man is really... Uh, Quake it in its boots. You've knocked down a fucking statue, a little statue of some guy that died 200 years ago. Ooh, wow. We're fucking scared, man. You're really getting the message across. You just seem like a fucking idiot. It's like spray painting fuck on the wall with an anarchy symbol or something. It's just fucking stupid. It's not going to do anything. Go to Wall Street. You know, like, Occupy Wall Street was way better in regards to, like, at least in the beginnings, before it was co-opted by the fucking 
powers that be. Like, everything seems to be. I mean, you talk about, like, Ron Paul's revolution. That became the Tea Party. You know, they co-opted that shit, even though he was kind of... He has some establishment stuff, too, himself. But, you know, nevertheless, I don't think a lot of these Tea Party... These, there's a lot of Tea Party posers after him, like, who were le way less libertarian, more neocon establishment type of people, like, adopt, adapted to, or co-opted that shit. Or you have people that, you know, the Democratic Party co-opted a lot of the Occupy shit. I mean, I even think InfoWars was pro-Occupy for a while back in the day, because they were a lot different. Let's keep in mind, Alex Jones and InfoWars were way different, like, even 10 years ago. I mean, that's... he. I don't know what happened to the guy. I mean, he was always full of shit about a lot of stuff, but, like, he didn't buy into the left-right paradigm back then, and now he's just totally off the fucking road well, that way, right? Wait. Oh, it'd be that way. Oh, it'd be that way. But the fucking totally off the deep end into some bullshit. So that's all i got to say about that. Um, I appreciate the Founding Fathers for all their flaws. You know, they're rich white men that were trying to, uh, you know, keep the bourgeoisie in place, but they also had some great ideas, you know? You know, Thomas Jefferson especially, even though he's a fucking, he was a racist, but he also was conflicted about some of this shit, too. He wrote stuff against slavery. It wasn't just fucking, like, some kind of confederate, you know, guy who was, like, pro-slavery and states' rights or whatever. That, that, that shit happened later, by the way. But, anyways, don't knock down the fucking statues of the founding fathers. It's just stupid. What are you going to accomplish? Go after the fucking, this, if you don't want a revolution, do it. It's half ass. I'm gonna knock down a statue. Yeah, knock down a statue. Yeah, you're so cool. You know, looking. You know, you take your picture with your fucking iPhone that's made by fucking twelve year olds or whatever from China, or not China, but you know, like the, wherever the fuck it's made. You know, Indonesia or whatever. And then you're thinking you're so cool. You're such a revolutionary. Ooh, ooh, wow. We're so scared of you. Wow. So, yeah, it's it's pointless. It's fucking pointless to knock down the statue of a revolutionary war hero. Confederates, that's one thing. They were traitors to the United States. Put them in museums. But, you know, I, I posted this thing, this meme of Benjamin Franklin being on this, like, skyscraper, on the top of the skyscraper. And I was like, try to get me up here, bitches. <laughs> it's so funny. But anyways, that's all.